Hey everyone, today we're going to go over that old gospel bluegrass song, In the Highways. This is on page 23 of Gospel Book 3, and this was written by Maybell Carter back in 1964 and was recorded that same year by Anita Carter. This was also one of the songs featured on that 2004 film, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Uh, and that was sung by the Peace All Sisters, or the Peace All Sisters. So let's get started. Okay, the original recording is in the key of C, uh, but I capable this up four frets so that I can sing it and actually play it in the key of E. I do use the capo to play it in E so that I can use the C shape. Uh, this allows me to play the bass notes a lot easier with the C, the F, and the G. So you're basically uh, taking that C chord and basically the picking pattern right there. The bass notes and all that, all the performance flair, everything. You just want to sing this one. And this is a great song for, for kids uh, to sing at Sunday school. And it's just a good song, easy song to remember. It's just an old-timey, old-timey song. It's a good one. <clears throat> the time signature is 4-4. Four, four. And the original tempo is a medium slow, around 80 to 84. And I think she picked it. like that so um, but the old brother version is a faster pace at around 110 115 and I like that lively version so I played a bit quicker like I did 
The strum pattern can be a simple downstroke the whole time, uh, using the chords and walking bass line like a... If you want to add some up uh, upstrokes, you can go. I hope you hear the difference in that. I'm getting a lot more movement in there, and therefore filling up the song better. So if you're playing by yourself, um, you might want to consider making a more lively strum. If you're playing with a group. Strokes are fine. Go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three. That kind of thing. Okay, while you're changing the chords, you can walk your root note up to the next chord like this. And that is a G, A, B, C. Just a chord there. And. C seventh right there will bring you to the F. And the F you're gonna be at a Okay. And this is gonna alter your strumming when you add those bass notes, but you'll always land back on the first strum pattern. But let's talk about the intro and the and the breaks and the ending. Okay, for the sake of leading a group of people and singing along, we musicians try to create an intro to the song that prepares people to hear the keys in, and which many will sometimes hum to make sure they have the right starting note. And this gets them warmed up. Oh, okay, that's my note. Okay. This usually comes from either part or all the chords or sometimes the verse. But in this case, we just play on the C for two measures to establish the singing key like this. I'm doing the big pattern, up and down. In the highway, like that. Okay, there's plenty to sing in this one, so breaks really aren't needed. However, your version may vary, and if you are playing in a group and you want to extend this out a little bit or, or to play one, just play over the verse and the, chords, the chorus chords, or just the verse, and then come back singing the chorus. Um, and that'll work just fine for anybody if you want to put that in there. And as for the ending, it pretty much stops after the last chorus. So you're going to go, I'll be somewhere, I'll be somewhere. a simple ending like that. We'll slow down to a you know, ending like that. Hey, thank you for watching and hopefully subscribing if this was helpful to you. I hope you've enjoyed In the Highways and don't forget to get book number three with the chords and the lyrics and we'll see you again next time.